What about your pets? Mm, no, I can't forget about New pet that. dad. <laughs> a little handsome warm. And it's also that time of year where that tire pressure light's looking at you like, Mm -hmm. Don't mm -hmm. ignore that engine, check yeah. engine light. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm yeah. guilty. Uh, well, yeah, the cold is here. Yeah. It's giving us a big old bear hug. It's going to stick around for uh, several days. You know, I wish I could say we're going back to the 70s and lots of sunshine, but unfortunately we are not. That pattern shift has changed and we could have a knee jerk reaction. We could warm things up perhaps back into the 50s, maybe even some 60s here and there in the weeks ahead. But for the most part, we are now entering to that point of the year where things are really going to start to feel like the season that we're in. So this is what the numbers are in some some of the areas across Northeast Ohio for today. This is still some preliminary numbers, and of course we can be adding to these numbers. But National Weather Service pulled this down from Auburn Corners. You can see there 2.8 inches today. Monroe Center right behind at about 2.7. Trumbull at two inches, and Chagrin, Chagrin Falls at about an inch and a half. And Westlake came in just under an inch or so. So of course we've had a little bit of hit and miss uh, snow showers throughout the day, and it ranged with what we were talking about yesterday on Saturday. One to three inches expected. You can see some of these snow showers beginning to pull away, which is great news for us because not too far away, as I said earlier, high pressure is moving in for tomorrow. It's going to be short lived, though, with some of those light snow showers you can see still blowing about. That will likely continue for tomorrow. More 30s rather than 40s out there right now. We're going to likely have mid, uh, mid to upper 20s for feels like temperatures waking up for tomorrow morning and same for Tuesday morning. Here's your National Design More Owl by Hour forecast, okay? Overnight tonight, few clouds blowing about, and we could have a little bit of mixed precipitation happening along the lakeshore. No ice is expected here, just some rain mixed with a little bit of snow. Because we'll have temperatures warming up well above the freezing mark for tomorrow, we're we'll likely hang out around 40 degrees, at least for the most part here in northeast Ohio, and then cool things back down as we head towards the evening hours. Freezing mark temperatures around 10, 11 p.m. for Monday night, and notice what happens here. Once we get to Tuesday, we're supposed to get some oriented clouds coming in from the south. Okay, yes, that indicates that our next system is going to be moving on in and that happened in the afternoon for us on Tuesday. High temperatures on Tuesday around 40 degrees. Some areas can hit 41, 42, perhaps even 43. And then once we get that band of activity moving on in Tuesday night, it's going to start out as rain showers and it could be heavy at times. And then once that low wraps on around, we're going to start to change things over to more of a scattered snow snowfall event for us. So this is the bigger picture Monday. Pretty much OK. Tuesday, there is that activity trending through. We're gathering moisture from the south. We have that trough extending south, extending uh, from the south due to the north. And then we have that mix, a little bit of happening here. So we're going to start out with some rain showers on Tuesday evening into the overnight hours. We'll switch things over to a rain snow and there will be more scattered snows there for the afternoon on Thursday and that continued through uh, Wednesday and then that continues through on Thursday as well. Let's start talking about a lot of days here, but by the time we get to Friday, we're just going to be mainly a lake effect snow event, mainly for the snow belt region, and that's where we could pick up a couple more inches of snowfall here. But all in all, take a look at your seven day forecast here. Temperatures cooling back down by the end of the week, turning much colder, waking up on Friday, mid to low 20s. Saturday morning into the teens we go, but there's a little bit of hope. You can see there, Elena, with temperatures climbing by Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the final week before Thanksgiving. You can see there temperatures going back, or that is Thanksgiving week, actually. Temperatures going back into the 40s for daytime highs. Okay, thanks, Jason.